Hi everyone, this is Tal back again with another Doxy tutorial. Now today I wanted to share with you how you can translate your books and shelves within Doxy and how easy and simple it is really to get you started. Today specifically I wanted to translate a few things within this book called Quick Install Guide. So let's click that open. And let's take a look at what this book actually looks like right now. So how we do that, we click here, go to Interactive Web Portal, click there. And I'm gonna say, let's say, I'll call it 21 for whatever reason. Create Portal. Have a sip of tea while that loads. It should only take a second or so. Perfect. That was just me pouring some more tea. Now let's click here and let's take a look at what our portal looks before we make the changes. So this is our portal. I see version one, which has no languages and version two, which has a few languages. So French, Norwegian, and Portuguese. Okay, I see. So I don't want it set up like that. And the reason why that version is the first one to appear this one is the first one to appear is because it's set as primary now how do we change that very simple we come here this is set as active but not primary but this is the one that i want to make primary so let's set that up update now instead of this one being primary which was shown before this one is and this one I don't want active so I don't want it to be active because this version does like it doesn't have what I want rather this version doesn't have it only has one language and I want to have a bunch of languages to show to a client about the features for Doxy so I set this up as current so as you can see it's active and primary and that is not this one, but this version. And it has all these languages that are already there. Now let's take a look at the languages that we have so far. Uh, we have French, Norwegian, and Portuguese. Now, if you're asking why German didn't show up, it's because it's set as draft. And when something is set as draft, it is not currently active. Now, why is this useful? This is useful for languages and as well, it's useful for versions because when your team is working on a certain documentation you don't want that active until it's ready to be published and ready for production so that's why doxia has the feature to take your certain portals that you're working on and making them not active but once you're done of course you can make them active again now i do want german to appear so i'm going to turn this to active but i do not want it primary primary i want english to be primary and it is which is great now i did want to also add another language here let me just by the way if you forget to press update language it will not change so make sure that you press update perfect now i have german french norwegian portuguese and i wanted to add swedish so how do we do that simply by pressing this button right here go to language and let's go to Swedish. Perfect. Add language. That's it. Done. Now our ghost translator will automatically translate our knowledge portal for us, which is great. And if you're asking what our ghost translator is, it's a very sophisticated translator that translates your knowledge portal in a very high level. So that's what that is. But let's say let's first of all remember to make this active and update so now Swedish is active but let's say I wanted to take out for whatever reason Norwegian I don't want it present on my knowledge portal so how do we delete this now if I come click these three lines right here we have access to delete them but I can't and the reason is because it's still active so let's make it not active update language press these three dots now I can easily delete oh remember to press yes done now they're deleted and these are the languages that will appear swedish portuguese 
French and German as well as English as the main as the uh, primary language. Now let's click these three dots and let's get this portal online. So how do we do that? We go to publish. You can also do this through deployments, which I've shown in another video. Go to interactive web portal. And let's leave this the way it is with other languages. Of course, you can write whatever you want here. Actually, like let's say, let's do it like this with other languages. Let's do it like that. Now, of course, you can write whatever you want here. This is just to show you an example of how this is done. And I go to create web portal. And remember, this is going to be published on Doxy's web portal, which is our cloud-based web portal. But you can also embed your Doxy portal and you will still have access to these languages and your so will your uh, customers. Let's close this. And let's open this this is the old one so let's close that and let that load perfect that was quick now let's press onto the new guide title it like this remember you can title it how you desire and as we can see here we're already on the version that i want it to be and i know because we have french german portuguese and swedish and it's all here it's all working great you can just skim through the languages just to make sure, but it looks great. This is exactly how I wanted it to show my client. Now, if we go back here, German, French, Portuguese, and Swedish, and English. So this is how you translate your portal into a different language. It's a very nifty and powerful feature that Doxy has. That way you can reach out to more global markets, expand your business, and increase revenue, increase appreciation from customers overseas, and has many amazing uh, things that you can do to expand your business. Now, I hope you found this tutorial very useful. On the next tutorial, I'll be discussing about different features of Doxy, so please watch out for those tutorials. And if you have any questions, remember to contact us at hello at doxy.io. Thank you and have an amazing day.